Hi, it's Dwyer. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. It is Wednesday, June the 23rd, 2021. The Atlanta Hawks are going to start their series against the Milwaukee Bucks. The Bucks have home court advantage in a few hours. The line right now has the Bucks favored a minus 474 over Atlanta to win the series. Again, the Bucks minus 474 over Atlanta to win the series. Now, let me just point out, I like the favorite. I believe this is a mismatch. I know there's an Atlanta contingent here online that's been telling me about the Hawks since the opening series against the Knicks. Right? But understand, the Bucks are just too deep. They have home court. They have a two-time MVP, Giannis. They have experienced elite defenders. Giannis, of course, is a former Defensive Player of the Year. They have Drew Holiday, excellent defender. They have P.J. Tucker, excellent defender. They have depth. Chris Middleton, Brooke Lopez. They're just older and wiser than the Atlanta Hawks, right? Let's face it, too. We could talk about Giannis being limited offensively, but so, too, is Clint Capella, right? Also, the problem with Trey Young is that he's hit or miss. He's not exactly Steph Curry, right? His shot's a little bit less dependable. When he's hot, he is Steph Curry. When he's not, he's not Steph Curry, right? Curry's more of a constant. So the big question in this video is how do we turn a minus 474 into better than even money odds, right? On average, better than even money odds that we can actually bet on. And the answer, in my opinion, is to look at the correct series score. In other words, you know you want to be on the Milwaukee Bucks side of the play. Now the question is, how many games does it take them to beat Atlanta? I believe it's very hard to win four in a row. I know Phoenix just did it. More power to them. But it's very hard to, to win more than three games in a row. Right? Very hard to win four in a row or more. So I believe the Bucks are going to lose at least one game. They might hit further resistance. I believe they might lose two games. The bet I like are the Bucks to win in five games. You're getting a plus 250. In other words, you're not paying a minus 474. You're actually getting a plus 250. I also like the Bucks to win in six games. Rather than pay a minus 474, you're getting a plus 400. But I need for you to be prepared to be nimble. In other words, if the Bucks are up three games to none, then at that point, you're going to have to jump in and put something on game four. Because the idea of a sweep would be a distinct possibility. And what I'm suggesting here leaves you naked. Naked. If the Bucks were to win in four straight. So I like the Bucks in five plus 250. You could put half the play on that. I like the Bucks in six plus 400. You could put half the play on that. Let's do the math together. Let's say the play is $100. Right? And again, you need to follow your own advice. I'm just telling you the moves I'm making. Let's say the play, in fact, let's keep the numbers simple. Let's say the play is $1, okay, on both sides. We'll make this PG-13, so to speak. If the Bucks win in five, then you win 250 minus the dollar you put on the bucks in six so you would win one dollar and fifty cents 
right? Think about it. Now let's contrast that with taking the bucks just to win the series. If I put one dollar out there at a minus 474, right, understand I would only get, right, a little bit more than 20 cents in winnings, right? A minus 474, they're telling you you have to bet $4.74 to win $1. Well, do the math. If I only bet a dollar, then I'm down in the basement. The play isn't really worth the time. Right? So, you make more. Betting half on the bucks in five and half on the bucks in six. Right? If I bet $1 on the bucks in six and it hits, then I win $4, right? I get the dollar I bet back. I win $4 minus the dollar I bet on the bucks in five. So rather than get a quarter or less than a quarter on the bucks simply to win at a minus 474, I'm actually getting four bucks minus one buck. I'm getting three bucks, right? Less than a quarter versus three bucks. But again, you have to be nimble. If the Bucks jump out to a 3-0 lead, you're going to have to plug a hole for the Bucks in Game 4. Right? Game 4 would have to be the kind of play where you take the Bucks on a money line. Understand, when you're betting series props, you can't play games with point spreads. Either the team wins that night or it doesn't. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I think the Bucks beat Atlanta. I think Cinderella gets revealed in this series. I like the Bucks over Atlanta. I'm taking them Bucks in five and Bucks in six. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.